One of the terms we use to describe a person that you might do research with is a research advisor. When you go to grad school, for probably almost that entire time, you are going to be under the auspices of one advisor. Beyond research, they will be the ones writing letters of recommendation for you and advocating and supporting you in whatever career trajectory you plan on taking post-PhD. In terms of finding a match between a student and a research advisor, that match is really critical. Ideally, a research advisor would be someone you could turn to to help you grow both personally and professionally. When I think of a mentor, I think of a person who provides me support in my career. It might be networking. It might be giving you feedback on your you know, drafts of papers, or you're giving a talk, or advice on how a next step's in your research. Personal support, what we sometimes call psychosocial support, so your confidence, your emotional well-being and also a person who's actually invested in me or in you. Near the end of graduate school for me, um, one of my peer mentors unfortunately lost their battle to mental illness. And that was really hard for me because a lot of the struggles that they went through, I also really identified with. And one of the great things that um, another mentor was able to do with me she was able to be very open and honest about her own mental illness um, and help guide me through, you know, the feelings that I was feeling. Many faculty really are interested in learning about and supporting the students as whole people. When my partner and I decided that we wanted to start a family, I remember being nervous about asking my uh, research advisor. And I went to her for advice. She had um, a family too and, I, and, and was like, when do you think is the best time to do this? We're thinking about doing this. And I was surprised but also relieved when she said, there's no good time to do this. You just do it because you want to do it and then everything else, um, you work around it and you make it happen. And I knew right away that it was going to be okay and she was going to work with me and support me to figure out how to both be a researcher and a new mom at the same time. We use the term mentor often um, because we really want for research advisors to play a mentoring role. But that doesn't mean they always function like a mentor. It might be helpful to just realize that your faculty advisor aren't, isn't going to be perfect in all ways and isn't able to give you direction in all uh, places of your life. And so, you know, take advantage of that relationship um, as you can. Um, but then just realize that you're going to have to find other people. It's really important to find, you know, whole teams uh, or networks of mentors and so forth to help you.